Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com. We're on step three of thumb joint pain relief. And basically what we want to do is uh, balance all the muscles around your thumb joint to make sure none of them are, are causing the problem. So uh, we're going to release the outer half of your palm and release your forearm since these muscles uh, can sometimes negatively affect your thumb. So first thing, just this outer half of your palm. And step one, we did this side of your palm because most of the muscles that make your thumb work are all in here and you can often just fix your thumb just by releasing this stuff. But out here, we've got a few beefy muscles that can be causing problems and you press your thumb around in here and if it's tender, you wanna either do a press hold move or a press pull release on that tissue. I usually face my palm toward me and do it just so you can see. I like getting my thumb in there. You can get your fingers in there. It's okay, I don't know. I like getting my thumb in there. Um, make it move. Sometimes press pull release is easier. Uh, but don't forget, way down here on this side of your thing, press pull release or, you know, press hold move. So just do that whole area. Any tissue that's tender, work on it until it releases because tender means too tight. Uh, and after you do that, we're just going to do your forearm and uh, either putting your forearm in your lap um, or I use this uh, yoga bolster, uh, any type of pillow uh, will do. Um, but basically you just want to take your thumb and you just want to feel around and investigate for any, any tight spots. If you find some tight spots, you know, press with your thumb at the level you can, you can that both your thumb and you can tank pain wise. Press in there, make it relieve. You're not trying to, you know, set any uh, records for speed. Take your time, press in there for a little while. And you're mostly kind of trying to get the, the superficial stuff with your thumb. And then, after a little bit of doing that, we take your opposite forearm, just this first, not the point of your elbow, but this first inch, inch and a half of your forearm, and you want to lean, press into the flesh, this nice belly of your forearm. And if there's a tender spot, like in me right there, just open and close your hand, release all those. This is going to go through all, all these things. These muscles move your fingers and, and uh, your thumb. And we just want them all nice and loose so nothing's yanking on anything else. And you do that. As that lets go, um, you can dig in there and you can go back and get your thumb a little bit if you feel like you can be a little more accurate with that. Um, but as you release that, um, We'll turn your arm over and we'll do what we would consider the top of your forearm. Uh, you know, I would usually face it toward me. Get your fingers in there and then flex your, your hand back towards the top of your forearm. Find a tender spot. Dig in there with your fingers if you can. Flex back and forth, flex back and forth. Up in here, it's a little nervy. It's always going to be a little nervy. There's nerves that run through there, so uh, don't beat up on that too much. If it's really tight, you can press on it, it'll let go a bit, but it's always going to be nervy because there's a little bunch of nerves that run through there. So um, do that for a minute, and then we take the point of your elbow this time, and we gently but firmly press on any tender spots that kind of wouldn't quite let go with your fingertips, just to make sure, and again, you get up here, it's a little tough with your, with your elbow, but any of this stuff, like there's a couple spots there that... Actually, my elbow gets a little bit better than my... And then you can go back with your fingertips and do that. So that is uh, step three of uh, thumb joint pain relief. Now that uh, you've done steps one, two, and three, you want to uh, go back and uh, think about uh, which step worked the best in terms of relieving your thumb pain, if, and then which technique within each step worked the best, because you can go back and do that either more of that now or in the future if you need to do it again you can do that. You also want to assess what muscles and what techniques uh, where you found the uh, the tender spots that maybe still need a little more work because now that you've released a bunch of other things sometimes you go back and they'll release or sometimes you just give them a little time and your your brain kind of gets to reset a little bit you go back and suddenly things will release. Um, but assess what worked for you and what needs more work and Go back and do what you can, and I appreciate your time. I look forward to hearing how it goes. Thank you very much.